Duel Review is brought to you by SpiderWolf.com. On today's Duel Review, it's Abe Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Everybody, today is the 25th, and we're taking a look at a Lincoln Vampire Hunter. That's right, and this one came out in 2012. It's directed by Timur Bekmambetov, <laughs> who is uh, who is responsible for the day and night watch movies based on the, the Russian uh, books, which I've read, and the movies were crap. No offense. <laughs> Take all it's as cool much offense right. as you want. Yeah, uh, and uh, and he also did Wanted, which was the comic book uh, one from yeah. yeah, you know what was it? Uh, image was it Image who did? Doesn't matter. So Wanted, the comic was turned into a movie. He directed that one. Uh, so this is Abe Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, and basically it tells the story. It's also based off of books. Does he do anything that's not based on something? Actually, now that I think about it, uh, and basically the premise is Abe Lincoln in his course to becoming a uh, 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 president and etc. Um, he becomes a vampire hunter. His the vampires attacked him when he was a kid, and he, he, his best friend was whatever, and his parents were killed, and so he goes and fights them now, a lot, you know, with the help of someone else. So yeah. yeah. So uh, what did you think? Well, this is one that I was excited about when I when it first you know hit the scene. It was like, oh, this this looks ridiculous, ridiculous yes. fun. And then we started getting a lot of haters out there. It was like, eh, it's not going to be worth it. It's really dumb. It's, you know, historically inaccurate. It's like, duh. Duh, it's historically inaccurate. Yeah, there's vampires um, in this movie. But, yeah, it does It does kind of brave the whole, we're Abraham Lincoln. So any little thing people are going to pick apart. Like, Abraham didn't do that. You know, that was never, you know, whatever. Not the vampire hunter part, but the other parts. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. That kind of chair would never be in his Oval Office. What the fuck? You know, kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So it kind of opened it up. But I, uh, okay. I had fun with this film, but my expectations were lowered so much. Um, so it reminded me of what is the Brotherhood of the Wolf for some reason, which really? that is like an art, artsy fartsy film. But for some reason, it, it reminded me kind of of that sort of thing. Maybe the CG. But uh, the thing is that they put that Abraham Lincoln element in it. So it could have stood on its own as kind of like this vampire hunter back in the old times you know it really could have like the 1800s and whatever yeah. it could have done that or 17 you know, whatever yeah. it could have done that and done it fairly well and um it it, it just kind of threw in that this is abraham Lincoln. so it took that risk and i think that it's fun because it's like it's ridiculous it's absolutely ridiculous and then you see like mary todd and then you see like he he kind of retires from vampire hunting for a while and then becomes president you know kind of thing and it's ridiculous it's utterly ridiculous you should not take it seriously there are plenty of inaccuracies but it's still kind of fun uh so it's one of those things that they kind of screwed themselves doing it for a lot of people yes but other people who don't really care like i revere abraham lincoln like anybody else but this is a movie and it's a vampire hunter movie it's like come on you you know it's going to be ridiculous and disrespectful and whatever so it was just kind of fun they could have actually done it even a little bit more if they wanted to uh to tie in you know like actual events kind of thing but they kind of just made it a light-hearted affair and yes there are there are moments where you know I don't think it's supposed to be taken seriously. Like the axe and the exploding tree, you know, stuff. Yeah, This yeah. is stuff you've seen in the trailers, you know. But when it's done, it's so ridiculous and corny. Even in, and it's like they never, I don't know. It's treated seriously because they're not like, whoa, you know, hold on, Abraham, you know, or anything like that. They're not, they don't really break that fourth wall. But it's so ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. And all, also the, you know, all the, you know, intermediate s- slow motion and the back to fast motion yeah. kind of stuff. And there were a couple of moments uh, where they did, you know, full CG, like vampire on vampire violence. That was ridiculous. But the I thought horses, some of it was kind of fun. The horses scene was just... I like it when the crazy. vampire, like, grabs the other vampire's head and, like, smashes it in the ground. I like that part. But then he, like, shoves him up a barn and the barn splinters. Yeah. It's like, no, he would just go through it, obviously. I mean, if there's enough force to splinter that, he threw, whatever, it's wrong angles, and whatever. So it, it is kind of like you just have to kind of whatever. It, right. it would be a great uh, plane movie, right? Like you're stuck on a plane and they're like, today we're going to, you know, watch uh, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Be like, oh, yeah, okay. 
And actually, that's funny because the next movie we're going to do is uh, uh, Lone Ranger, which that's exactly what happened is I was watching it on a plane. And I was like, hey, this is kind of fun. You know, it's stupid. No, we're doing we'll Lone get, Ranger. We'll get to that. Yeah, we'll no. do that next week. Uh, so anyway, I think this is definitely just kind of a popcorn flick. You're, you're probably going to love it or hate it, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so what do you think? Did you like it? I... I, I actually am the exception because I didn't love it, but it was fun. It was ridiculous fun. I was going into it. I was like, okay, this is going to be crap, but I'm going to watch it because it might be entertaining crap. You know, just like like watching a train wreck. Just it's going to be so bad, it's going to be enjoyable. Um, but then I saw that Rufus Sewell was in the movie, and I was, and I love Rufus Sewell. You know, just everything that he does, I'm like, oh, I love this movie. Um, so when I found that, I was like, oh, this is going to be pretty cool then. And the action scenes were pretty awesome at times. Again, completely unbelievable. The CG was crap, though. I mean, like... It, yeah, it, most of it was. Suddenly, your CG. It's like, oh, my God. Yeah, it when when they right. went full board CG, because, like, the exploding tree and shit, I'm sure had some CG, and that was fine. Yeah, yeah, I guess. But mostly, mostly it was, especially that horse scene. That horse scene was just ridiculous. I yeah. think I think anyone talking about this movie needs to bring up that horse scene, because that is just... that. I, that's nuts is what it is. It's just crazy. Um, but aside from that, the acting was okay. No, no one really took me out. Um, the one guy, um, what what is his name? Uh, um, uh, Joshua Speed, the, right? The, the one uh-huh. who was behind the the, the 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 store clerk, right? He he has been in several movies, and I liked him in that. And I think he did a very good job. And uh, you know his his friend uh, uh, William Johnson, the the black kid, uh, and the wife Mary Todd. They they yeah. all did a great job. Uh, and it was just it was. Yeah. See, but this is the sort of thing that when it's, I don't know, I, they're all a bunch of set pieces, right? So it reminds me of like a video game or like anime. And we had this discussion about Berserk, right? Mm-hmm. Where it was like realistic and then all of a sudden it goes anime, like r- ridiculous, like one sword kills 10 people at a time, you know, kind of thing. And to me, you like that, right? Yes. And I had a problem with it. And now we're kind of flipped, I think, because I, I don't, re- I, it's like seriously running on horses and like, beating each other with horses it's ridiculous it, it like it's to like kung pao level or something yeah you yeah know? it's like it's stupid it's yeah. really stupid so if you if you just go with it it can be kind of fun but it seems like you had a little bit more problem with it which well, is funny because just, yeah uh, see see it works for anime because uh for me because you know everything is you know there's no cg there's no yeah my, my problem was that the anime was trying to be realistic and then did the anime thing yeah this one is is it's not realistic, trying to be realistic and then it, it is the yeah thing. it's trying to do the anime thing yeah. so i like that because it already is like this is a fucking ridiculous movie from second one anime is like Okay, okay, they're trying to do a little bit more. So- oh no, they're not. Okay, it's just. Real. I, I will, I will okay. tell you that that the uh, the thing the thing with the axe, um, and I don't want to give it away, but the axe, there's something special about the axe that only happens once, unfortunately. But the second that happens, like, that is awesome. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, so I guess, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, so so yeah, if you avoided it because so many people were like, oh, it's, it's it's stupid, it doesn't, you know, whatever. It is some ridiculous fun. So yeah, you yeah. might there's give a, it a chance shot. You'll, you, you, like you it. might like it. It's Just, again, it's one of those things like if you see it for five dollars or you have a chance to rent it for free or watch it on a plane yeah just do it because yeah. it's it's ridiculous uh yeah it's funny because we also got the uh the abraham lincoln you know uh movie with what's his name playing it like the very serious about him at the same time right right so that was kind of fun yeah and i and, think i think they canceled each other out didn't they no yeah. Uh, the other one, well, maybe we'll get to that at some point. So, but the other one, I mean, is definitely more serious. So, I guess maybe having that, it was just like, okay, well, this is not serious at all. And I don't know. I just had fun with it. It's just you know, yeah, you, you definitely have to go la 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 every <laughs> once in a while. But it's like, come on, don't close, don't close your eyes while watching this. It, it doesn't it doesn't help the viewing experience. All right, uh, so that's it. I think that's it. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlist. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a card game, art print, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if I'm online, you can chat with me all day. All right, guys. See you later. Does anybody ever chat with you all day? Uh, one person does. Sometimes. Not often. Good. Yep. Next up, it's X-Men Battle of the Atom. Directed by uh, Tamur Beck... I don't know how to say that. Tamur Beck Mambitov. Just say some dude. Okay, I can do that. Uh, Tim, Tim, Timur... Just put that. Berk... Berk... Beck, Beck Mambitov. Chubby, hairy dude. Yeah. Beck Mambitov. 
Big man batal. Big man batal. Timur. Timur. Big man batal. Big man batal. You're gonna screw me up. Timur. Timur. Big man batal. Big man batal. Big man batal. Stop it. <laughs> That's how I would say it. Oh look, I just turned like blush red. Timur Beckman Batov. Timur Beckman Batov. Timur Beckman Batov. Beckman Batov. Beckman Batov. Let's do this. Does anybody ever chat with you all day? Uh, one person does. Sometimes. Not often. Really? Yep. I don't know about all day, but for, for an hour or two. You know who you are. He does. He? Oh, I gave it away!